All right, I'm going to uh, remove him because I've got his shaps to work on and his legs and boots. And I'm going to place him in my jig. Time to play with some clay. All right, it's time to uh, work on the pants. I'll work on the back of his jacket uh, after I get this done. Now, the pants that they sold off the rack or off a sack in the stores back in the 1800s were generally canvas-type pants. And they had a belt bit built into the pants so that the, you could cinch up the waistline to fit any waistline. They didn't make them by size. They made it to fit anybody. I'm going to put bat wing shafts on them and uh, They were good for protecting legs from and clothing from a brush. Clothing was hard to come by and expensive. You got to realize that 25 cents back in the uh, 1800s was like having three or four dollars worth of uh, buying power. Okay, what I'm doing is the upper part of the shafts, which had a thicker leather with some design to it. And I've misplaced it a little bit. And so I've got to move it over just a little bit. There we go. And it would be laced in the front to uh, keep the front together. Now I'm going to do something you can't see, so I, because it's going to be just an odd angle, and I'm going to have to do it off camera. I got to fill in those areas behind the opening of the shaft, and it's going to be hard for you to see how I do that.
Okay, need to put some holes in the belt for the uh, buckle. One of the things I need to change is the uh, side of the uh, vest that was buttoned. I'm putting the bottom of the vest on now. I'm doing the side that's under the uh, one other side. Okay, I've got to fill in underneath this uh, jacket here. I can't have it all thin with a deep undercut. It's got to... have some thickness to it so it can be cast. Do the same thing on this side. key is to try to make it look like it's not filled in. Okay, I'm going to put a little texture in the jacket. I'll work on his sleeves and stuff next time, but for now, just a jacket. 
see I realize I had the buttons on this side of the uh, jacket but I had the buttons on the opposite side on the vest and uh, I got switched around He's going to have a neckerchief on his neck, too, uh, but I haven't uh, gotten to that point yet. All right, I'm going to get back on this tomorrow. I'll work on the part of, bottom part of his legs and uh, get the uh, boots on, and then I'll put the uh, shafts on. And uh, after, when I put the shafts on, I'll put him back on the horse, uh, because that's going to have to somehow work with the saddle. And, uh, but I like the way this turned out today. And, uh, like I said, I'll have a neckerchief on his neck. I just wanted to get all this done before I start working on his face. But, uh, it's getting there. Slow but sure. All right, everybody. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.